Hey guys, I want to give you a quick trick that I just found out uh, for an upcoming project. We need a way to, with PHP, modify a docx file. Okay, so basically the task at hand is we'd like to have a docx like so with a special token in it that can be replaced by PHP. Okay, now that is not a easy task. You cannot do this with a doc file because doc files are compiled and they have, would have to be read by a com object and it just it, it wouldn't work. But with docx they can actually do this. How is that possible? Docx is actually a zip file. I can actually get info, rename this as a zip like so. I can actually unzip it. Here it is. Go into the contents of the folder. Go into the word folder go into the document.xml file, make it so we can read it, and now here's that uh, header one file that I can say I've been replaced, whatever, save, oops, and now here's the trick to saving it out, <clears throat> you need to, so here's the folder, you can't compress this folder, that won't work, you actually have to select the files inside and compress those, so compress, let's take this out of there, and now this file archive.zip we can now rename that to archive.docx and now it's a docx with replaced text so that's the technique that we're going to do and we're going to do it programmatically excuse me with php so how do we do that well we're going to do that exact same process that we just did first of all we're going to make our file which is going to be test.docx that's going to be our file that we're going to play with okay so couple steps first thing let's put some PHP tags there we go okay so first thing we have to do is we're gonna need to uh, define our files okay second thing we're gonna do is make a temp directory to unzip things into okay next thing we're going to uh, safeify the directory for shell use. We're going to be using shell exec to execute zip commands and when doing that you need to make sure that your commands are safe meaning no spaces and that strings are wrapped in quotes. Next thing is we're going to replace the tokens and then following that we're going to rezip everything and then at the bottom here we're just going to have a special function uh, which is going to help us uh, clean a directory. This is a function that I found online and I didn't write this it just it's the best thing I found to do this and all this is going to do is clean a directory for us which is great we need that we need to be able to clean a whole directory and I'll show you that why in a minute so define our file so first thing we're going to have file is going to be that test.docx file uh, we're going to have a file2 which is going to be where we're saving the file as and it's going to be test2.docx in real use you wouldn't have a file2 you would just have the one file and you would just overwrite it right because you're doing the replacement but in this case we're going to make a save as Okay, so make a temp directory. Okay, well, first thing we need to do, let's also define our directory, which is get CWD, get current working directory. Okay, so make a temp directory. So basically, uh, we're going to say make dir temp, but we you can't just do that. We have we we have to check for it first. We can't just make it every time. We can't let ph. I mean, we could. I guess we could do that, but I don't like just doing an error. This, this at symbol means. Uh, ignore the error that would get created. But instead of doing that, let's just do it right and say if uh, not is dir uh, temp. Oops. All right. There. Boom. Okay. So if temp is not a directory, make it. If it is a directory, we need to clean it. So we're going to call this function recursive remove and we're going to call it on the temp directory and we're going to pass true because we just wanted to clean we don't actually want it to destroy it down here you can see a check that says uh, if it's going to destroy the directory if this is false and we want to send it true so it won't destroy the directory it's just going to clean it okay so this is making the temp directory so now we need to um, escape everything so we're going to basically make a new variable called edir which is going to be uh, escaped dir is why I called it that equals uh, escape shell arg, which is a PHP function that does the escaping for you of the directory. Okay, this is just going to safely make our directory in case there's spaces or anything else that's in there. Now we're going to replace the tokens. So to replace the tokens, we need the text of our doc, our, of our document.xml file. Okay, so we need to unzip everything first. Totally missed that step. Unzip everything. 
<laughs> Unzip everything. Okay, let's do that step now. So to do that, we're going to do a shell exec. Exec. Okay. And what's the shell exec going to be? Well, we're going to use the unzip command. What are we unzipping? Well, we're going to unzip that eder that we just made, which is going to be our current working directory, which is, uh, for me, it's slash application slash map slash htdoc slash docx. That's eder. And we want to uh, unzip that uh, that file, our, our main file, the docx file. So this is going to unzip test.docx, just like I showed you in the beginning. It's going to unzip that. Where are we unzipping it to? To dash d, which is uh, the directory where we're unzipping it to. We're zipping it to eder slash temp. Okay, so we're basically unzipping this and putting it in a folder called temp, which doesn't exist yet, but it will be created because we created it up here. So unzip eder slash file dash d eder slash temp. Now that everything's unzipped, now we can replace the tokens. So we have to go get the text. So we're going to call it c for contents equals file get contents. So we're just going to go and get the contents of what are we getting the contents of? Well, we're going to go to temp folder slash word folder slash document.xml, right? That exact file that we showed you earlier. Again, that's, uh, well, I guess I don't have it in here. Uh, get info, zip, double click it, word, document.xml. Okay? Let's uh, put our file back because I just ruined it. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Test.docx. Oh, I guess it's already there. Cool. And we'll delete that. I'll leave this folder here just for now so I can refer to it in a minute. Okay, so we have gotten the contents. Now that we have the contents, we just need to do a string replace, right? So we're going to say C, and use the new contents, we're overwriting it, equals string replace, right? What are we replacing? We're replacing that uh, header 1, right? And that's not arbitrary, it's actually in the file. You can see right here, header 1. Replacing that token, what are we replacing it with? Uh, how about I'm replaced? Okay, and in what are we replacing? In C to begin with. So we're replacing in C and we're replacing C. That will replace that one token. You could do this for more tokens if you needed to. So now what we need to do is we need to replace that file. You can't just replace the file though. We need to actually delete the file and then make a new one. So we're going to first unlink that same file. So that's going to be temp slash word slash document dot XML. So first we're going to delete the file. Now we're going to put the file back. So we're going to use file put contents. Contents. And uh, where are we putting this contents to? Temp slash word slash document.xml. We could probably say that as a variable, so I don't have to type this seven times. And what are we saving? C. Okay? So all we're doing, getting the content, storing it in variable C, string replacing this token with whatever we want inside of C, storing it back to C, deleting the current file, and then putting the file back with our new contents. Now we need to rezip everything. Okay? So first thing we need to do is we need to delete the, uh, the file that we're going to be creating out of the zip file, which in their case is going to be file 2. This is our save as file. So we need to say if is file file 2, right? We need to uh, unlink file 2. And what we're basically saying is we're avoiding the air, the possible error that I'm testing and file 2 is already created. We're just removing it first to make sure there's no file 2. Okay? Now that's out of the way. We basically have a couple files that we need to zip. Just like we did before, we need to zip these files right here. So, rel, underscore rels, doc props, word, and content type. So we're just going to, probably running low on time, so I'm just going to create an array here by pasting. So 2-zip is an array. Those are the exact files I want. And now we're going to basically make a command here, uh, which is going to be shell exec. I'm just writing it out as a string first. We're going to, first thing we have to do is cd into the temp directory, which is where those files are. This won't work if you don't do that. So we need to cd eder slash temp, eder slash temp, and that will be the, uh, that will be our, my current directory slash temp. So now I'm currently in my folder, and and, to make a new command, so this is all one command here, I'm basically bringing in two commands together. So first I'm cd'ing into my temp directory, and now I'm going to use zip command, so zip, dash r for recursive, because we want our folders. I want, where am I, what about my zip to be called? Well, I want it to be not in the temp directory, so back one, and then file two. So, you know, it's going to be, uh, it's going to save it out into here as file two, well, test2.docx. Okay, and now we write in all the files that we want. Well, we already have all the files listed here, which is why we did it in an array. So, all we're going to do is dot implode by a space to zip, and that will implode um, the 
uh, files together in space form and that will give you the whole correct command and all we have to do is shell exec uh, the command and we will echo that so in case there's any errors we will see them so echo shell exec command and that is the code so now if I save that assuming I wrote everything right we'll delete this folder here's our stuff if I refresh the page you can see everything seemed to be okay if I come back over here here's test 2 well here's test.docx with header 1 and here is test2.docx with the text replaced which was done with PHP